got a job at Amerigo, my first job ever. Love them. over on West End. Yep. And yeah. I worked there. I worked there for two weeks. Uh, the training phase, you get, you work training period for two weeks and you get paid. And then they were like, they told me I had to dry clean my shirt every day. And I was like, you mean I got to spend $2 every day to come yeah. to work? Yeah. You out of your mind. I'm, so, so I'm paying to go to this place. <laughs> <laughs> Pay to work. What is yeah. this? Bull- yeah. And meanwhile, like people have worked at Amerigo for straight up since the bartender that's there is still there from, uh, when I was training because apparently it's a nice place to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I couldn't starch my dang button down. Anyway, I went over to work at Otters Chicken Tenders. You know Otters. I know Otters and I miss Otters. Otters sauce, dude. Yeah, man. Otters it, sauce is better than Zaxby's sauce or it McDougal's was, sauce. I love McDougal's. Those guys are great. Uh, but there was something about the care and the passion that went into Otters food because it was run by a bunch of uh, 20-something-year-old party guys and we'd just go out every night and come in like committed our lives <laughs> yeah. to frying this chicken and it's gonna get done we will have the best chicken in the city state and nation yeah and we will throw the best <laughs> parties after the place is closed yeah. but uh during the day man it was yeah it was fun y'all throw parties inside the otters um <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> hey that was not a no <laughs> yeah so i doubt they're uh they might be out there listening steve stewart talbot it, it was a, some of the best times of my life i'm sure it was yours too but uh the tin roof is where the tin roof still is on Demumbrian at the end of the little strip there. And Otters is in the middle yep. where... Um, that was when I was in high school. It's where Live Oak is now. I think Live Oak... Yes. No, it's Just Love, the coffee place, yeah, was yeah. Otters. And um, we would wrap it up at Tin Roof and occasionally would go down to Otters and fry some, some late chicken. night chicken. Perhaps some chicken, have a couple of abitas. Um, oh my god! And it was incredible. But then that put the pressure on me. <laughs> Obviously, shut the bar down. Fried chicken at Otters at three o'clock. I ought to be back at eight in the morning. So right. go home to fried chicken. Sleep, but go home and <laughs> yeah, to come back to clean up my mess and like filter yeah. the fryers. Uh, it was fun though. Uh, like big hit, big hit with the party crowd. Like, oh man, we gotta go, gotta go home. Oh. No guys, you ring a ling a ling. Like I got the keys. <laughs> no, I, I, fried chicken. I, you did this. I was like, I got the key bumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the key. Oh, the keys. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna go you got home. A key. <laughs> oh man, dude, I worked at the donut den. That was my uh, civil- no joke. That was my civilian job. Is it still open? Yeah. It's protected, probably. Yeah. It's in the station in. That's a like, landmark. You could build, they, they have damn near built a giant uh, 20 story, yeah. whatever. What is that? Uh, man, uh, it's a great apartment complex, I guess. Yeah. There's a bar top. There's a bar on top of it. Santo at the bottom, uh-huh. which, hey, dude, we should do the um, Live in La Vida local segment. But we're going to talk about Santo really quick because Santo is my favorite restaurant in, in town, probably. Really? I mean, it's a nice restaurant. Have you been? No, man, I used to, I lived on uh, Leland for six years. Yeah. And so we were always Maplehurst over to Green Hills and like those back roads. I dated a girl back in there for a while. And so that was like my stomp. And so I leave to, I went to East Nashville, then to Hendersonville. I come back recently. I was like, whoa. Yeah, dude, you got to go to Santo. They got like, it's Mediterranean, but like good, good quality, high end food. My buddy Andrew Fawaz owns it. Went to high school. You know Lauren Fawaz? You know the Fawazes? I feel like I know that. I know a piece is another. I know how it's spelled. No, it's not. F A W A Z. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, got to be them. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be them. <laughs> They're all related. Yeah. Just being earnest. Just being earnest. Just being earnest. Just being earnest.